if you have a chance to see some Asian Chinese dramas, there may have plots that the Empress challenge the Empress Dowager. In TV drama, everything can happen. But in real history, before challenging the Empress Dowager, the Empress should have two heads. So, in this video, I will compare the power of the Empress Dowager with the Empress in different aspects. First, from the whole society level. After Confucianism became the main ethical code, people believed that they should obey and respect the people according to the order Tian Di Jun Qin Shi. Tian Di means the gods and the nature. Asian Chinese believed the power of the emperor was from the god in heaven. So the emperor should worship heaven. Jun means the emperor. Here I must say, although in ancient China people believed they should obey the emperor, but until Qing dynasty, the emperor started to have absolute power. I will explain it in future videos. Qin means older generations. In a family, kids should obey their parents. Shi means teachers. For most families, the order of Tian Di Jun Qin Shi couldn't cause problem. But how about the emperor and his parents? Or more accurate, the emperor and his mother because most time the emperor passed his throne when he was dead. Well, almost most emperor had a surviving mother. If the normal order was applied, this means the emperor's daughter should obey the emperor. In formal ceremonies, the emperor's daughter should bow to the emperor, her son. This didn't make sense. So, for the emperor and the empress daughter, Qin was before Jun. Because this bug, Asian Chinese women got the only chance that their power could beat the empress power. For example, Qin Shi Huang's biological mother, Zhao Ji, gave birth to kids with Lao Ai. When this scandal was discovered, Qin Shi Huang couldn't kill his mother or dethrone her, although he killed both of his half-brothers and Lao Ai. Well, the empress didn't have such lucky. In ancient time, people accept the idea that Fu Wei Qi Gang, which means the women should obey the husband. So, the empress was under the emperor's control. The emperor could disrupt his empress, even though the empress didn't do anything wrong. For example, the empress Xiao An of Ming. She was the empress of Mu Zhong of Ming. Xiao An accompanied Mu Zhong to spend the most difficult time, but Mu Zhong was crown prince. When Mu Zhong became the emperor, he finally had the power to do everything he wanted. So Mu Zhong started to sleep with his imperial women as much as he could. He also got many beauties from outside Forbidden City. Xiao An worried her husband's health and reputations. So Xiao An tried her best to appreciate Mu Zhong to spend a normal life. This was the correct thing that a qualified empress should do. Unfortunately, Mu Zhong didn't agree. He was furious and ordered the empress moved out from Kunming Palace, which was the signal of disrowing the empress. 
Luckily, the empress got the support of some shelf government officers, and kept her title. Second, the empress' living conditions was better than the empress. For example, in Qing Dynasty, the empress dowager had twelve imperial maids and about ninety eunuchs. Well. The empress had ten imperial maids and about fifteen eunuchs. Every year, the fixed salary, the empress dowager could get twenty taels gold and two thousand taels silver. Well, the empress only got one thousand taels silver. But in Qing Dynasty, the empress dowager and the empress. Use the same dress code for imperial dress. Third, managing the inner court. When we talk about the empress, we always say, "Huang Hao is the Liu Gong Zi Zhu," which means the empress was the real ruler of the in- inner court. She had the power of managing the whole imperial palace, but. This doesn't mean the empress dowager didn't have power to manage the inner court. The point was, managing inner court wasn't an easy work. Most empress dowagers preferred to enjoy their retirement life. Fourth, the empress dowager could run behind the curtain, but the empress didn't have this right. I think the exceptions were Du Gu Qieluo, who was the empress of the Emperor Wen Di of Sui, and Wu Zetian. They shared the political powers with their husband. Other powerful women, like the Empress Lu of Han, the Empress Liu of Song, the Empress Dowager Cixi. Manage the court as the empress' daughter, not the empress. When the emperor was too young to manage the court, government officers may ask the empress' daughter to run behind the curtain. But when the emperor was too sick to manage the court, no government officers ask the empress to run behind the curtain. Thank you for watching this video. See you later.